Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Focus Hive. So as you know that we are doing a three episode series of leadership in VUCA world. So we went ahead and we described what is a VUCA world in the first episode. In this episode, which is episode number two, we are going to talk about what is leadership. And we will look at the traditional leadership concepts and qualities that an individual should have to be a great leader. And then we will go to the third episode where I would discuss about three top qualities that anyone should possess to be successful in a VUCA world. And those who possess those critical qualities win as leaders in VUCA world. So without much ado, let's get into the discussion of traditional leadership qualities. I'm not going to use some heavy words to make it very fancy uh, because it shouldn't be fa fancy. It should be simple and easy to understand for everybody so that if we are able to understand, we can relate to it and we can start being a leader in our own way. And, and the first quality that comes to my mind is role modeling. You cannot look at someone as your leader unless you really like that person what they do and you would want to be like them so in order to have followers who would want to be like you you need to behave in a certain way you need to have right ethics and right way of doing things that is why it's called as exampling or role modeling which pretty much means that you're leading by right values and competencies Sum it up all, it's exampling that's that's come to my mind as the number one quality to be a great leader. Number two, if you've heard about Simon Sinek and if you have read about her, the golden circle of life, then you would you would understand what I'm trying to say now. Because for me, having people in your team, having people within your organization, they would be performing at the peak of their performance only if they are secure. So it's an imperative task of a leader to provide security to their people. Hence, protecting is the second quality that a leader should possess. Third, empathizing. A person can be a good leader only if he or she understands the pain, the agony, the situation, the people that they're working with, their customers, their partners, anybody for that matter. If you're able to understand and help them through their thick and thin, you can be a great leader. Four. Number four, someone who has the capability to see the invisible. That's called visioning. Now I have to complete the definition because what I said, someone who, ha who has the capability to see the invisible can also be thought as dreaming. But someone who not only just sees what's invisible, but sees it so in such a compelling way that it becomes their reality. And they get kind of motivated with that and, and then they go beyond it to chart a plan, take actions, devise a methodology for their team, for the people who need to act on it, a clear vision, a clear strategic steps developed for everybody so that the results are achieved accurately. And that's what is called visioning. And anyone having that kind of quality has to be a good leader. Number five, empowering. If you are a great leader, your people should feel empowered. They should not feel that work is dumped on them, but they should be feeling as if they, they, they are empowered, they're encouraged to do what they want to. That's why delegating is a key aspect of leadership. If you're delegating right, you're a great leader which gives a lot of empowerment to your team. They feel encouraged and they feel engaged, which is why empowering is a great quality of a leadership. Number six, building. Not making buildings, but developing people, developing your workforce, developing people you're working with and giving them that hope that they will grow based on their capabilities. They will develop it and grow in the ladder of success. That is what I mean by building. So you have the capability and you have the uh, necessary qualities that you understand your people, you know what they want to be, that you have that 
clarity and you are able to help them, support them, and you are able to nurture them for growth. You ask the right questions. You are a great leader if you have the quality of building or developing people. Number seven, understanding. And when I say understanding, I don't mean that the leader is able to understand the folks he is working with, but I mean that he or she as a leader is also able to explain his or her workforce or employees that how they operate themselves. It is very important that the workforce understands how a leader operates themselves, what make them do things. And by understanding you as a leader, your workforce, your employees, your team members would be more empowered to take decisions on their own and then come to you and give you the results that you would want in the way you would want, which kind of motivates them, gets everything rolling out. So that's a great aspect to have. So if you have this capability where you make people understand easily how you operate is an awesome quality of a leader. And finally, agility. Agility is the critical quality for anyone to be a leader. Why? Because as, you, as you've heard, as you, as you have read it in many places, failures are the pillar of success. But they are only pillar of success if you learn from it and quickly move on. If you get stuck with your failure, you're not moving forward, it's not going to help you. So agility is very important. That's why this whole concept of pivoting, pivoting is fancy. It's, it's kind of used everywhere. And that's what I'm going to use. If you are failing and if you are agile, you'll pivot out of it and go further towards success. So agility is super critical quality of a leader. With that, I would say I've summed up about eight qualities of traditional leadership and anyone with these qualities would be a great leader. But it's it's something that we are talking about is very specific about VUCA world. VUCA world, you don't have time. VUCA world is chaotic. VUCA world is not clear. VUCA world is ruthless. How would you survive in such a world? Do you need all these eight qualities or is it something else? that you really need to hone on. Let's look at that in our third and the final episode where I talk about three such qualities that will make you the best leader of the VUCA world. With that, I'll say thank you so much for joining in today. We will connect again next week. For now, bye.